Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Jubilee here, also known as Mrs. England's Emporium. Okay, so it's another haul video. Hang on, let me move you a little closer. There we go. That is good. Yeah, so it's another haul video. Um, Bric-a-brac, no clothing this time. Um, which I always like to do. I always like to do ones with no clothing. Um, it's a lot of really cool stuff. Some stuff we've bought to keep for ourselves, for our own personal use. Some of it is to put on my eBay store or my Etsy store. And I have a little announcement to make, which I will tell you in a moment, if I don't forget. <laughs> Anyway, if you enjoy this video, please consider giving me a big thing, thumbs up. It really helps me out. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the bell for notifications of when I upload. I'm doing Monday to Friday still. It's still going strong. And if you'd like to support me further and get a shout out in a future video, buy me a coffee link is in the description. And there's also super thanks. Right. OK, so my big announcement. <laughs> I've made an Etsy sale. <laughs> I have actually sold something on Etsy. I am over the moon. And what makes it even more special is it's something that my daughter has actually made. So two key rings I have sold to one lady. So whoever you are, because I'm really sorry, I can't remember your name and I'm not going to shout you out anyway because you haven't asked for one. Um, but yeah, I am so grateful. It's kick-started my shop. Um, I have actually stopped listing on there for the time being, so we'll see how it goes. Um, if it if I get more sales and I get some good feedback from these key rings, then I may be listing some more. So let's see. Okay, so some of this stuff is going on my shop. Some of it we are keeping, and some of it is going on Rob's, as always. So if you see anything you like, you can either pop me a message on Instagram. My name on there is Mrs. England's Emporium. I'm not sure whether my link on my channel is working. It should be, but apparently it's a bit temperamental. Um, but I'm easy to find on there. Same name. Um, but my shop and Rob's shop, as in eBay, and my Etsy shop, all the links are on my channel. So if you just go on to my actual channel page, go across to the About section, the links are all in there. Okay, so let's get started with the goods. Right, so I found some of this, which I'm going to show you in a second, not that long ago. And I said that it was something that I have had on my bucket list to find for a long time and I've never found any at a reasonable price. Tupperware. I have found another piece of Tupperware. This is, it says, Tupperware, Orlando, Florida, USA, Brussels, London, Melbourne, Toronto and Tokyo. So there you go, it gets around a bit, this. Um, this is actually a, tuffle, a Tupperware coffee pot. Um, doesn't smell of coffee, it's very clean. The lid's a little different to the last one I got. Um, the last ones I got were yellow and they had the ridged lid. This one's very smooth. Um, yeah, it's cool. I like a bit of Tupperware. So all of this stuff, which I should have said at the beginning, everything I'm going to show you cost me £15. So I paid £15 for everything. And this should near about bring that back. I reckon about £12 for that. 10 at the very least okay so i bought some cards i'm a sucker for buying cards from my charity shops i like to support the charity as much as i can you know and because at the end of the day if it wasn't for them a lot of a lot of the stuff we have for our business wouldn't be there so i like to buy things that we use as well and i just love this it's got all different types of cards in it. So it's got birthday cards in, which there are quite a lot of, which is really cool. There's even a Christmas card there. So I need to be careful not to give that to someone for their birthday. It's in the birthday section. And then in the back, there's all different ones. There's like for you, um, cute baby, Father's Day, it's a girl. You know, they'll all come in, won't they? Merry Christmas. 
There's a couple of Merry Christmas ones in there, but I just thought, what a lovely little box. And if I buy more cards, I can put them in there and then I won't lose them like I always do. I tend to buy cards in bulk and then I lose them. I don't know where they are, so I have to go out and buy some more. So I'm going to put that somewhere safe. <laughs> somewhere safe. That's something I do at home. Do you do it? I say I'm going to put something somewhere safe and it is never to be seen again. It is that safe in this place that you don't find it ever again. It's like Narnia. Um, and even when I have sorted my house out and turned everything upside down, I still haven't found things. <laughs> so I might just keep that. Instead of putting it somewhere safe, I might put it somewhere where I can see it. Then I won't forget where it is. Okay, this light's cool. This is Rob's. He asked me if I wanted it, but I said no. So he's going to list this. It's just a hanging, hanging metal flower light with leaves. It's very nice. It's a ceiling light. Um, I haven't said I don't want it because I don't like it. I just thought, well, it's good for him to have stuff like this on his shop as well. There are a couple of flowers missing there and there, which I need to point out to him around here. But then to be fair, I don't know whether they are because they all... They're all every other one, so maybe they're not. Maybe that's how it's supposed to be. I really don't know. All the flowers are there at the top. It's nice, isn't it? Don't know how much he's going to put that on for, so if you want to be nosy, go on and follow his shop and you will see what he's going to put that on for. We've got ourselves a wok, which is ever so dusty. So this, all of this was £15. So yeah, it's used, but it's not disgusting. It'll obviously get a wash, but yeah, that's for us. It's very heavy. <laughs> the last one I bought was a Ken Hom one. And I think I paid 4 50 for that one. But yeah, this all works out. I think it's pretty much under, under a pound an item. So the lovely man in the charity shop where we go to buy all our, our little honey hole, where we go and we, he gives us a deal. He keeps things aside for me now if he knows that I buy it and um, it's really funny because I haven't sold any of this yet but he knows I like it so it's some more mushroom pottery stuff <laughs> I'm obsessed aren't I and I said to Rob you know I really like it so if it doesn't sell at some point in the future I'll have a really nice collection of mushroom pottery items that I can display now, I think this is a candle um, holder because it's got this bit at the back where I assume you light the candle through. It's got the holes here um, and obviously no top. Let me know if you think it's something different. I'm pretty sure that is where you would put a tea light. But yeah, it's got the lovely mushrooms on it. It's got the stamp of mushroom pottery, which is made in hull, I will add. Um, so that's cool. And then I've got this. It's a bread flour pot. It's the only way I can describe it. Um, mushrooms on it again. It is rather cracked at the bottom, um, which I didn't realise. But to be honest, I'm not really that fussed. I think it could still sell, even if it's just for five pounds. Because yeah, you maybe can't put flour in it. Actually, you could because there's right there's a crack in the bottom. Right there, look, that is a crack. It is dirt all around there, but that is a crack. But here, the cracks are in different places. So you could still use it for its purpose, or you could use it as a utensils thing, or um, utensils thing. I'm great with my descriptions, aren't I? A utensils jar, or a plant pot, a planter. It doesn't really have to be for what it says, does it? But I love it. The mushrooms on this are very rustic they're very sharp and edged and they stick out a lot more than it does on the other stuff i'll show you so there look look at that actually it looks like proper mushrooms it's really cool but on these ones they're flat and they're glazed so they are made differently but yeah this one doesn't actually say mushroom pottery on it but i'm pretty sure it is i mean it looks exactly the same right i'm going to put that back in here 
and then just wrap these off. Save me a bit of time later. Do you understand, guys? Don't you? you understand? Right, so another purchase for ourselves. Everyone's going to need these, aren't they? Pack of 12 crackers. We are going to the mother-in-law's this year um, to spend Christmas there with her, her partner and my two brother-in-laws. So we thought we'll get the crackers and we'll take those as our contribution. We will be taking something else as well, don't worry. <laughs> that was not a smash, that was just a light. <laughs> oh dear. I'm going to show you um, the best thing last. Couple of DVDs. We haven't seen this, so we picked this up, The Queen, so we're going to watch that. We won't sell it, we'll just keep it. And a really annoying thing, Rob really wanted this for Christmas, so I bought him it, and then we found it in the charity shop. If you don't know what this is, it's Morris's basically autobiography, so or biography. Um, England is mine, it's a film about his life. A perfect portrait of the enigma behind Indy's greatest icon, Morrissey. But I'm very upset we found this because I paid like 15 quid for hours um, that I've got, got him for Christmas. But I said to him, we could resell it because when I was looking for it online, there wasn't many about. So I had to really look. Okay, I'm going to show you those last and explain why I bought those. Well, not last, but I've got something else for last. You will see what that is soon. So I've got a cassette tape. <laughs> Anyone that follows me a lot knows that I usually find cassette tapes and they are usually really overpriced. So I had to pick up Chris Rear, The Road to Hell. This is not worth much at all. It's about three or four pound on eBay. Um, but when I come to listing, if, if it's free postage, what I'll do is I'll just keep this until I find some more cassettes and then put it in a bundle. This is cool. A very old camera. Very old camera. It is a Hanimex 110DF. There you go, look. Very yellowed. I don't know whether it's supposed to be that colour or it was supposed to be white. I would suspect it was supposed to be white. But yeah, you put your film in there and your batteries in there. It's all clean. I checked it. Um, these can sell for around 15, 20, sometimes more. But I haven't seen one in this colour, which makes me think that this was white. Um, and there aren't many white ones around. But yeah, it's very yellowed with age. So we'll see. We'll see what we can do with that one. I couldn't leave it behind. I just thought it was cool. I bought some more VHS. I can't seem to leave it behind. So all of this I saw a few weeks ago um, upstairs in the storeroom at the charity shop where we're allowed to go and have a little look. And um, I kept forgetting to ask about them anyway, got them this time. So I've got Grease. None of these are new and sealed, I will add. Marks and Spencer's The Magical World of Animals. <laughs> Amazing Animals, Birds of Prey. Now I will probably list those two together because they won't be worth much, I wouldn't have thought. Angelina Ballerina, The Show Must Go On. I used to watch that with my eldest. And this one, Mickey and the gang. And then we've got Mr Bean. This one's The Amazing Adventures of Mr Bean. Notting Hill. I used to have this on video. The Tales of, is it Aesop by Tom Baker? Don't even know what that is. Hopefully it'll be worth a bit. I used to have this as well, Titanic. I've got it on... Um, can't remember what it's called. DVD now. Swallows and Amazons. have no idea what that is. Yeah, so I picked up all of those. So, as always, be listing them separately unless they are worth nothing. And then in that case, it'll be a bundle deal. So, these, I'm not going to get all these out. I've got four of these. 
so I saw these lovely Sunday ice cream dishes um, or glasses if you want to call them that I saw these last time I was in the charity shop but I didn't have enough room to bring them home so I thought right I remember what they look like I will have a little google when I get home and if they're worth me picking up I will get them on my next visit so these are lovely the very um 50s diner 60s diner aren't they they probably haven't got a lot of age to them none of them have any damage and there are four when i had a look at how much these were going for they're selling for around 25 pound for the four so i thought right i'm going to grab them next time i'm there so that's what i did so i got all four of those so i'll be listing them for about 25 and see what happens love to say that don't we okay last but not least completely ruined it there um <laughs> these are cool i saw these on the shelf and i just had to have them they are knitted father christmas and mother christmas now i thought they were handmade when i picked them up now i can be forgiven for thinking that because they're knitted there's no labels they look like basically they've been made by some beautiful old lady that can knit amazingly well and has taken the time to do these. But I Google Lens them. It's not all bad news. So I Google Lens them and they are, there are more of these floating around. So there are more of these. They are branded, but they are all classed. They just put that they're knitted father christmas santa and knitted mother christmas um yeah so people have got these listed for 30 pounds each so i think i may put them together and list them for 60 as a pair because you don't see many pairs or i might put them together and do them for 50 pound for a quick sale because whoever wants both of them may look at me and think oh i saved 10 pound if i buy from her you know what i mean rather than buying them separately 30 pound each and two lots of postage got two different people yeah what would you do in this situation would you pair them up or would you separate them out and do 30 pound each i really don't know i do like them though i know that one of the little bobbles has come off somewhere so i popped it in her pocket um i think it might have come off her head bit there because you can see there's two there and then there's a big gap so i think that's where it is um santa's got his three so yeah or it may go up the top like santa's might be matching who knows who knows i'll have a look um i mean it won't make much difference will it but I think they're really cute and wow what a surprise what a surprise with how much they're worth when i picked them up i thought i'm probably looking at 15 pound maximum <laughs> i still might be just because people have things listed for a certain price it doesn't mean that's what they're going to go for as we all know painfully um but anyway thank you so much for watching if you have watched to this part of the video please write in the comments morrissey <laughs> can't believe it honestly you cannot make it up we have never seen this never seen it anywhere rob's been looking for it for weeks months years whatever never found it as soon as i buy it we found one i'm gonna check the actual condition of the disc i know the disc is in there because we checked yeah, it's in good condition. Nothing wrong with that. Not that I want this to be, you know, but I'm like, never mind. <laughs> Can you believe I'm grumbling about it? I mean, at the end of the day, worst case scenario, this cost under a pound. And I paid nearly 15 for his so I can get that money back. It's not all bad, is it? not really not really anyway 
let me know what you think of what I've bought. Let me know what you think of the pricing. Let me know what you think about how I'm going to list them. Um, Rob may end up pinching some of this stuff because he's itching to list at the moment and he has no stock. Whereas I have a little bit of a backlog. But I like to in case I get ill or one of the kids gets ill or I can't get out for any reason. Um, or the weather's bad. I mean, because we don't drive, we can't pick up a lot of stuff when the weather is awful, when it teams it down with rain or when it's snowy or icy because we're going to end up breaking things. So we need to be sensible and have a bit of a backlog at least. That's what I say anyway, but you know what men are like. Don't unsubscribe men. I'm only joking. <laughs> I am only joking. But yeah, these these are lovely. These are my star buy. Let me know what you think is my best buy. Would you have bought these? Do you even realise that they were worth that amount of money? I mean, who knows? Watch out for my sales videos. I will be letting you know as soon as I sell them. And take care. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all your lovely comments. As always, be kind. And I'll see you on the next one. Ta-ta, guys.